Yeah, like just explain in your own words uh, what your uh, specific purpose is here today for this uh, fire sprinkler demo. You know, in, uh, in America, we have building and fire codes. In West Hartford, we have building and fire codes. We have a building department that enforces those codes. We have a fire marshal that enforces. They make sure the buildings that you're in are safe for you. Whether it's a fire safety issue or an exiting issue or a building structure kind of issue, all of those codes make sure our buildings are safe. What we saw today was a piece that we don't have in the codes, which would make you safe if you're sleeping and there's a fire in your home, those sprinklers go on so you can get out of that home and be safe. It's a future of fire protection in America. Connecticut needs to enforce that, needs to adopt these codes so that we can make sure that we save lives and save property. The most important thing that we do is life safety. And secondly is property conservation. So if the sprinkler system will, and it will, uh, help allow the persons that are in the building get out of that building, that's one less thing we have to worry about and they'll get out and without injury and naturally we won't have the death from home fires and the property piece will continue to be here for as we move forward and another reason I'm here this has a personal significance for me because my daughter and two granddaughters lost their home to fire October 8th of 2014 in Lisbon and okay. if they had a residential yeah, yeah, yeah. sprinkler system in their in their home uh, they wouldn't have had the the uh, property loss that they did. Fortunately, it happened earlier in the evening where they were able to get out without a problem. So they're building a new home at this time, and it's my goal to get a residential system into their home so that they may be the first ones in eastern Connecticut, but at least it's a start. It, it, we'll do this one home at a time if we have to. Have you encountered fires like this before? Um, not personally, luckily, yeah. but I never want to after seeing today. Um, no, I, I absolutely am in favor of sprinkler systems now. As, as you saw, the, the non-sprinkler protected fire, that, that was pretty enormous. Did, did, you, did you almost think that you were going to get burned? <laughs> uh, no, I felt pretty safe here uh, behind the tape. Uh, but yeah, it was definitely scary. What about you? How did you feel? Were, were you a little bit scared by the fire? A bit. Are your husbands, are, are they going to be a part of this demo in another capacity? Like, will they go to another city and do the same thing? or? Oh, absolutely. I've, this is my fifth one I've been to with him, and we've been to one in Patterson, New York. We had one in Holyoke, Mass. This is my first time, but my husband usually runs one of, at least once a month. With all the places you visited for the demo, which one would you say was the most effective? Like, which one got the most reaction from uh, the audience? This one. Because the one we had in Holyoke, I wasn't a fan of it. It, w it was just too quick. This one was just a little bit slower, and the demonstration was right on key.